Hello, I'm Alexander McCall-Smith. I'm an author and I've recently started a new series for younger readers about a school ship called the Tobermory. Here's an excerpt from Chapter One. A very unusual school. Ready? asked Fee's father. Are you ready to bring us up? Fee nodded. She'd sat at the controls of the family submarine many times before this. But you know how it is when somebody asks you to take over a submarine. You always feel just a little bit nervous. Yes, she said, trying her best to sound brave. I'm, I'm sort of ready. Both Fee and her twin brother Ben had been taught from a very early age to help sail the submarine belonging to their parents, who were well-known marine scientists. Now, at twelve, almost thirteen, Fee had enough experience to bring the vessel up to the surface all by herself. But it was a very big responsibility, and it always brought to mind the things that could go wrong. What if you made a mistake and dived instead of surfacing? What if you surfaced too quickly so that the submarine popped up out of the sea like a cork out of water? What if you came up right underneath a large ship, a massive oil tanker, broke the glass observation window and then went straight down again? There were so many things that could go wrong in a submarine. Right, said her father, take her up, Fee. You'll do fine, of course, but I'll be in the engine room if you need me. Once her father had left the control room, she was quite alone. Her brother was doing his packing in his cabin, and her mother was busy in the galley, the submarine's tiny kitchen, making sandwiches for the twins. Fee was by herself, entirely. Slowly she pulled the control column towards her. She could not see exactly where she was going. That's never easy in a submarine, but she hoped there was nothing ahead of them or above. The last thing a submarine wants is to meet a whale or a rock, or a whale and a rock, for that matter. You have to hope, too, that there isn't another submarine coming up for air in exactly the same place as you. A few minutes later, when they were just below the surface, Ben entered the control room. I've finished my packing, he announced. What about you?